Maria Eliza Rundle, 1745 to 1828, was a 19th century British author of cookery books. Well known for her economically responsible ideas, Rundle was admired throughout the classes, although she often referred to her work as necessary for the modern middle-class housewife. A new system of domestic cookery was Rundle's first book and a bestseller. It continued to be published, in revised form, throughout the next 36 years and was even translated into German. Rundle is still known for her thoughts on household management, remedies, penny-saving meals, and the role of a woman in her home. She has been called the original domestic goddess and her book, A Publishing Sensation. Biography Maria Rundle, born to Abel Johnston Kettleby of Ludlow, Shropshire, had no siblings. Her husband, Thomas Rundle, was either a surgeon or a partner of a silversmith and jeweler company. She married into a wealthy family. Her brothers-in-law were Francis Rundle, a successful actor, and Philip Rundle, a goldsmith. Her estranged niece was Elizabeth Bannister the actor and singer. In 1806, Maria was living in Swansea and collecting recipes, household management tips, and herbal remedies to send to her married daughters. Rundle sent a compilation to a family friend, John Murray, who happened to be a well-established publisher. The pieces were put together under the name of A New System of Domestic Cookery, edited and illustrated, and published in 1808. Rundle's book instantly became a bestseller. Between 1814 and 1821, Rundle encountered difficulties with Murray and filed an injunction against him. Eventually the two came to a resolution, and Rundle walked away with around £2,000 and Murray with the book rights. Domestic Cookery continued to be published until 1841 in its 65th edition. Maria Rundle died in 1828, predeceased by her husband. Domestic Cookery Rundle's A New System of Domestic Cookery was known not only for its economic responsibility, cultural adaptability, and its preference for personal responsibility, but her ideas about women's roles within the home were admired as well. She believed that a housewife should have all the mechanics required to run a proper household, including education and independence. Rundle advocated bettering oneself and one's family. In the beginning of her book, she provides a brief glimpse into her attitudes. At one point she says, we sometimes bring up children in the manner calculate rather to fit them for the station we wish, than that which it is likely they will possess. She continues to discuss the process of finding contentment and happiness in one's life, independently of class, education, or gender. These were novel ideas in a time when someone's status determined their worth. Works Cookbooks A new system of domestic cookery formed upon principles of economy, and adapted to the use of private families, London, printed for J. Murray and J. Harding, 1806, OCLC 34572746, many editions and publishers. The new family receipt book containing 800 valuable receipts in various branches of domestic economy, Philadelphia, Collins and Croft, William Brown, printer, 1818. OCLC 166584644 Several editions American domestic cookery formed on principles of economy, for the use of private families, Baltimore, Maryland, Fielding Lucas, 1819, OCLC 15446433 The experienced American housekeeper, or, domestic cookery, formed on principles of economy for the use of private families, New York, Johnston and Van Norden, 1823. OCLC 82788085, many editions and publishers' fiction letters addressed to two absent daughters. London, Richard Rees, 1814. OCLC 1333333. References